Hi, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how you can take off and reattach your L1 and L2 buttons on your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. You might wanna do this because maybe they've become sticky, maybe you've spilt something in this area and they're sticky when they're going down and not releasing properly, or maybe you've dropped your controller, it's come off and you don't know how to get it back on. So to begin with, I'm gonna show you how to take it off and then I can show you how to put it back on. It's really simple, all you need is something that you can wedge in here and lever upwards. So I'm going to put down the trigger to give myself a little bit of room and then I'm just going to put the pry tool in here like so and then I'm just going to start lifting up and then when I actually get under the button you will see that it will lift out like so. Now if for example yours has already come off and you're unsure whether it's dented or broken or some plastic broken off then I'm going to zoom in to show you what it should look like. You will be able to buy replacements on places like eBay. So you can see here, this is what it should look like. So obviously, if you've got these things bent or this thing missing, then it probably would be best to get yourself another button so it can work reliably again. So that's that one there and this one here. You can see that apart from the, the molding being mirrored, that they are the same. Right, let me show you how to put it back on. Well, actually, I'll tell you what, let me show you zoomed in how to take it off. So we need to pop down the trigger to give us a little bit of room, get under the button, and then just prise it up like so. And you can see it just comes apart from this bit here and this bit here. So we're just using force to push up against these two bits and then it comes out. And now to put them back in, obviously we wanna put them in so that the L1 is on the L2 side and it needs to be done so they're close to each other. So if you're trying to put it in that way, obviously it's not gonna go. So you can just line it up and you will feel when it's in the correct place. So you can see now that that's dropped into the correct place. But if you're unsure, just line up this line here with this groove in here. See this groove down here? You can actually see that's the button in here that you press for the L1. So lining up the groove in there and then watch this. You just use a bit of force, press it down, and now it is in place. So watch this, just drop it into place, and then press down. And that's how you remove and check, and also clean if you want your L1 and R1 button. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Thanks for watching.